you look like the one. Like, listen, guys, this is how the traps work. What you got to <laughs> understand is you take the stick and knock the cheese off and then you get said, the cheese. She you said I look like an intelligent mouse. <laughs> he only eats months of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> You be holding civil rights movie like, no, nah, man, mouse lives matter. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm guys, I, to say something so positive to him. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like, too. And his, I knew it. What, what, starting off, I was like, now this ain't this gonna be a, this gonna be a roast. And then he's like, you look like a really intelligent. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, mouse. I was like, man. <laughs> you should. I knew that was a roast coming from a mile away. You should have just. Waited. That's because that's because you only smell roast. Shut <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, but here, your background looks. Exactly, like it goes so well with your personality and the outfit. Yes, it is so. Like, if I hadn't seen, actually, I've never been to your house, but having a whole bunch of vinyls and I'm like, you know what? Is that Miles Davis right behind you? Yeah, that's Miles right there. And fuck all that. To here, look like Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he put the fist up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! How do you be thinking of this stuff, Pat? Jeez. No, he does a lot of coke. He does a lot hear, of coke. Jesus. To hear you should shoot content from there. I would. I would like to see you speak from there. You should. I, I like. That's a. Uh, that's what the podcast is gonna be. L low key, Jason just uh hit me up. It's like uh Manscape hit me up. Want to do a solo deal? So I'm gonna try to get the podcast going off. Who's Jason? Of Your brother, Jason. He's my manager. You have a brother, Kevin. We ain't got the same dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how come black people do not say half brother and step brother? We just don't believe in that. No, we say it in the explanation because my brother, you got a brother, my half brother. I don't really. We, ah, got the same dad. we never lead like off with that. Mm -hmm. We only do that when it's not our parent. They're like, yeah, my stepdad had to drop me off. You never just say like my my dad dropped me off. You say you always make that clarification initially with the parent figure. That's true. Why do you think we're like that? Because it's so that, that nigga ain't my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> we quick to throw that in somebody's face. That nigga ain't my daddy. That's so hard. Listen, when when I'm when when oh. Farron and Kendall first moved out here, she used to call me Rob. Uh, Kendall called me Rob all the time, right? And so I told her one day in the car, I was like, Kendall, you know, you can start calling me dad. I'm you know, I'm I'm here, I'm not going nowhere. And then she was like, I am. Once you marry her, then I start calling you dad. She was like, I'm holding out to make sure it's real. <laughs> Hey, you're out here this, making business decisions. This was at five, bro. This little girl at five. At five, she been here before. She said, "Can you sign right here? I got a notary." <laughs> and literally, literally right afterwards, she was like, "Okay, Dad." And I was like, "That's weird that you could turn it on and off like that, kid." That's crazy, man. man. Yo, yo, you know what's super irritating right now? Amazon drivers be driving their trucks and they don't be wanting to park, so they just park in the middle of the street in the so like in the lane, and it's so irritating to me. Why is that irritating? Why you why you going places? No, I just be looking on my balcony like, why do you feel like you can park there in the middle of the street? You became that neighbor now. You on neighborhood watch? I'll be on my balcony like. I'm gonna change your name on your screen to to Karen right now because you sound like one of those ones that's gonna start calling the police on everything. What's up, Tone? Nice to see you, to Jonas. 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 I said Jonas. Hey Tony. Judgment. Tony, you be late all the time. Huh? Tony, you be late all the time. How you late? I was literally. I woke up at one o'clock. Okay, but we were supposed to start at one. How you? Tell me, what time I, didn't, you I didn't know we were doing this today until I woke up at one o'clock. Uh, <laughs> what did you do last night? I, I've been playing Call of Duty till like six in the morning. <laughs> like every man has become a teenage boy during this. Time. <laughs> you know what's so crazy is Tony is such an old fart. So when he says something <laughs> like Call of Duty, we be like, "What? You know you about video it. games?" Thought you had a tic tac toe carnival. <laughs> tic tac toe carnival. Play video games at your house. That's true. Oh. Tony's so old though. I just picture him playing the World War One version with <laughs> <laughs> in the trenches. Now this was a war. <laughs> Out there with the revolver for no reason. Like you know, you could get a different gun. He like ah. Tony was on the red <laughs> one bullet at a time. I got a musket, man. Muskets <laughs> only for me. You got a load the Bro, pistol. can you really Bro, Pat, the the funniest thing about a musket is they was in full battle with one shot. Yeah. They one was bro. Shot. 
Reloading for like, 45 I feel minutes. I like they had to like stagger. Like, okay, you three, you guys load up. Y'all are first. Oh, yeah. Round. Oh, yeah. They definitely did okay. that. No, I, feel I, like they were, I feel like they were surprised when they got hit. They were like, oh, damn, somebody over there is pretty good. This, this nigga's a sniper. <laughs> Bro, I seen, I seen Glory for the first time last week. War was so stupid. They would literally be across from each other and then just shoot and then just walk to each yeah, other. You don't, you don't remember that, looking out the window as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Yo, like, I wonder who decided who went on the on the front line. Because, like, I would never want to be on the front line. That was I want to be as close no, I think to that. rank. I think if you're, like, the newest, then you got to go to the front. No, no, no. That was honor. It was the biggest, the best battle, uh, the best warriors were in the front. Oh, that's how they lied to people. <laughs> they were like, oh, it's honorable. You well, go the to the front, way to back. I'm the least of you. The general <laughs> never was, unless it was like George Washington or something. But I feel like the generals was never front lines. They was just like, go. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They was in the back. No, I, I, that always creeped me out. Like, y'all really did that. I'm, I'm with the drone warfare, to be honest. <laughs> crazy, For real. Let me let me attack from home. Yo, my, especially especially when they had like the the spears and everything, they just running toward each other, fam. Nah, put they, me in the middle of the back, bro. Mm-hmm. Put me in the middle so I can fake dead on a on the battlefield. I wonder how many soldiers did that. Just fake dead, just laid out there. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what they do? They go back around and they like shoot. Like once everybody's dead and laid out, you just start shooting people to make sure they're but dead. But they were fighting for like days. They would be fighting for like six days straight. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. Do you get straight. to like go go take a nap? It seemed like the Spartans were fighting for like weeks at a time. That's what they made it seem. <laughs> That's impossible. When do you sleep? Is it like oh Company A? You guys get three hours. Rest <laughs> you out here. That's funny. <laughs> Y'all fighting just like. All right, I'm gonna change. How do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. They didn't fight at night. They always fought like at the crack of dawn, like as soon as the sun's like hit. And then like, I, I, I pictured them stopping because you can't. It's <laughs> too much like, friendly fight. Up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Little whistle. Like, made it to fight another day. All right, guys, time for chat. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and kick it off, man. Uh, we got some great topics today. This is Squadcast versus. We got the whole squad in the building in their respectable homes, respecting this social distancing. Tony Baker just woke up still with the sleep breath. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We appreciate you. I brushed my breath. teeth. I oh, brushed yeah? my teeth. Oh, okay. You, you cool. tell us anything. No, I did. That's why I was like, all right, I'll be there in a minute to hear. And then I brushed my teeth, washed my face, came in. Solid. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, let's jump right into this first topic right after this. Hey, what's going on? It's Tahir Moore, and I want to let you guys know that this episode is sponsored by Matt Weldon. Now, some of you all might be asking yourself, who is Matt Weldon? What is Matt Weldon? Well, I'm going to let you know. Matt Weldon is a premium men's essential brand that believes in smart design and premium fabrics. Let me tell you what that is. You see these? You see these joggers right here? Oh, my God. You talking about soft and comfortable? It doesn't get any better than this. As you guys know, we've all kind of just been lying around the house, chilling for the past couple weeks. And what better way to do it than in the perfect joggers or sweats or underwear or t-shirt or socks. You can't go wrong with Mack Weldon. Now, I'm going to tell you all something. Since I got my Mack Weldon, I have been lounging tough. I love the quality of these joggers, man. I love how amazing they feel on my skin. You can tell that the fabric was really thought out. They put a lot of planning into this. I really love the tapered leg. A lot of joggers, you get them, man, they be too big or too bulky, but these are perfectly tapered at the ankle. I love it. They are great for lounging, great for running to the grocery store, whatever I need to do throughout the day. Now, Matt Weldon really values its loyal customers. So much, in fact, they created Weldon Blue, which is a free loyalty program. All you have to do is sign up. It is completely free to sign up. What does the loyalty program get you? I'll tell you. I'm glad you asked. Level one gets you free shipping on whatever you buy. Doesn't matter how much or how little you get free shipping. Once you get to level two, after you spend $200 on Mack Weldon products, you also continue to receive the free shipping, but you now get 20% off any purchase for an entire year. Come on, guys. Not only that, you also get new product updates before they drop to everyone else. You'll receive that email and that alert first. You need to hop on this. Now, because you guys are watching and y'all rock with the squad, I'm going to give you guys a little something extra. How's 20% off your first purchase sound? It should sound fantastic. 
because you're getting it, okay? All you have to do is go to MacWeldon.com and enter the promo code SQUAD. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. Again, go to MacWeldon, M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N.com. Enter the promo code SQUAD, and you guys are going to get hooked up with that 20% off your first order. Guess what? You're welcome. We have sweatpants slash joggers versus jeans. Let's go. Kev, I already know you want you. I'm, no, I'm I, just laughing at Doughboy. <laughs> Doughboy is like a horse in the Kentucky Derby. Like, I can't. I want to talk. I want to talk. I can't wait. I can't. Let me go. Go, go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead. Was like, don't, don't text me like three times trying to get me to put uh, yoga pants on there. And I was like, bro, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what about gauchos, man? Gauchos are comfortable. Gauchos. Corduroy. Shut up. Leggings. Let them put leggings. I with the corduroy. <laughs> now, I grew up in corduroy back in the 30s. Yeah. Now, I, would, it, I would normally say joggers and sweats just because as a big man and a man of girth my whole life, that's the best thing. But recently. You can't dress. You, can't dress. you gotta throw that. Shut up. <laughs> but. <laughs> but recently, I didn't. I didn't uh, dabbled in size thirty eight jeans. So that's a great feeling to be back in the thirties. So I've been wearing jeans. Do you even... really prefer jeans, or did you just want to stud on the the thirty eight? Just kind of wanted to let you know where I'm at in my life. Thirty eight. That was the... <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like better? <laughs> I think I like jeans better. I think I like the way they make my legs look better than than sweats. I hate your jeans, though. You always buy <laughs> jeans that you should never. You how you wearing brown jeans? Your jeans look like like Tahir's shirt. You got jeans the color of pennies. You got black, you got jeans sponsored by Black and Mild. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even <laughs> like solid black jeans. jean colors. Yeah, Joe Boy had on some. He had on some acid rock wash green jeans. He was like, "Where did you get those from? <laughs> Who sells?" See, colors. that's what you see. That's, awesome that's what you don't. Colors. That's what you don't understand. Back in the day, those pants were still too big. They were still in the forties, and they're Levi's. Those are the only colors they had. So I had to. Yeah, the bigger the bigger the size is, the uglier the clothes get. <laughs> like, man, give the fat niggas the ugly stuff. <laughs> That's how they always do. Like when you go, yeah, when you true. go to Ross and you see the huge shoes, they are hideous. Yeah. Size seventeen, give them the clown shoes. Run them the clown. That explains Michael Jordan's whole outfit. <laughs> oh, no, no, bro, they Jordan's be like pants. Man. Jordan's up, pants, man, his pockets, his pockets be so big, they look like uh, Manila folders. Like he can put a he can put a Nintendo cartridge in his pocket. It's just too big. Michael Jordan is so good at basketball that God did not have room for no ability to talk, no ability to dress. He's like, you wouldn't be able to dunk from the free throw line. You ain't gonna be able to pick out the right jeans. Then you can't have. <laughs> He's wearing so dress shoe boots. Yeah, he's dress shoe boots with his jeans. And what so this? He's so committed to basketball, he still wears a hoop earring. It's like, fam, hang it up. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't put some diamonds in your ears, nigga. <laughs> what does he have against tailored suits? His suit is always baggy. He was supposed to be kings of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he stopped living life in 98, was like, nah, I'm not going any further. This is it. <laughs> His suits got better, like in recent years. I feel like I saw him in a suit, and it looked like it was a little bit more tailored. At Kobe's, at Kobe's uh, memoriam, it was doable. His outfit was doable. See, he got better. But it was a funeral. How do you mess that up? Easy. <laughs> Michael Jordan be having Donna's eyes too. I love him, but his eyes for look real. like a sweatshirt. No, for real. Him and the dude, and, and from Get Out, they eyes always look like, bro. Did you just come out some Thank heat? Oh, oh man, we were watching uh Queen and Slim. I was oh, like, he was like, he was like he ain't Cyclops drinking. with those shoes. <laughs> he ain't drinking he enough was water. Like, they're like, all right, action. He was like, mm. right. like <laughs> why are you doing that before they shoot? I like, like the way the butt shot looks. He a method actor. He'd be like, give me that Tabasco sauce. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Eye drop. <laughs> So y'all might not remember this, but when I first started at ADD, I used to try to wear jeans and, no. and shirts I bought from Macy's. Boy, oh boy. What's wrong with your jeans, by the way, Kip? Is your body not made? Yeah, yep. Like, what is, or what? Okay, yo boy, you? first of all, you can't tuck your back fat into your jeans, so you hush. Woo. You're in size 38 jeans, but your hips are in 42 still. <laughs> stop. 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 You stop. He got to fold his back fat over and then tuck it in like... 
You tell me I got I got to blouse my stomach out, you motherfucker. Shut up. You built, you built like a your back your back fat like a folded sheet. It don't never want to stay on the rest of the mattress. You got to put that back fat in with a butter knife. He just be trying to hammer it. <laughs> he he got to use a shoehorn to get out of his jeans. <laughs> Wow. You stop. Your legs are in them jeans. The top half is not. <laughs> Yo boy got to connect two belts and have them go around twice. <laughs> hey, man, shut up, man. Man, move it. Distribute these jokes. Shit. I don't got to be the recipient of all of it. Back to Ken. I'm talking to Ken. Ken, I, why your listen, jeans don't ever look right? I'm going to tell you what. I, don't, I only wear <sighs> jeans now uh, because my so you don't see my balls. That's the only reason. Wait, the I thought worst, you too short or something. No, right I'm going to tell you the what? worst thing about having an all deaf, somewhere along the line, when Nike Tech Fleece became popular, I was like, oh, wait, it's cool to wear these sweats to work. And then for three years, I don't think I, <laughs> it got so bad. When I wore jeans, y'all was like, Kevin, you you sick? Why are you wearing jeans? It's the same just, thing with Pat. Pat has worn joggers and sweats so long. When we see him in jeans, it's like, you got a funeral? Yeah, What's I don't know Pat in jeans. No, Pat wears. It Pat, looks Pat, very Pat, awkward. Pat wears. Pat wears joggers and sweats so much. When he dresses up, he wears jeans and thinks he's dressing up. Yeah, that is he's dressing up. <laughs> Accurate. But can we wait? Wait, 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 wait. Are we just gonna breeze past the fact that Kev bought a new house and now he's like, man, I can't wear. I only can wear jeans because everything else, my big ass balls are so. <laughs> the only thing that can cover my newly. My newly rich big balls is these seven <laughs> things. I never said my balls were big. I just said you can see them. I don't really have big meat. <laughs> I just want to be honest. I'm about to get off this conversation. I have, I have, I have, I have regular, I have standard issue. I don't have big <laughs> standard issues. Why are you acting like right. jeans is the only thing that can cover your balls? No, it's. It's just oh, with sweats, you see people's balls. Oh, sweats That's be like, they work. outline the like feet. Women love it. Women love gray sweatpants, not going to lie, because you can see everything you need to know about a man in gray. That's what, I don't, I don't hey, wear Meg is on a different freak level freak. after this baby, man. Meg just letting her freak side out. On the, after yeah, this she baby. saw the outline. Ask, ask any woman. Ask any, every woman has seen a man and seen his imprint in gray sweats and was like, OK, yeah, he's, he's got something. Or no, he ain't working with nothing. That's see, but see, hold on. I think that that's misleading. Because if a woman was just to see me in some gray sweats, she might be like, whatever. But then when I'm ready for the game, it's going to be a different game. Some people so women, are growers, huh? Yeah, exactly. So women are cheating themselves all across the country. Nigga, your cholesterol is growing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> see, dope boy, like, ooh, he packing some turkey legs in them. <laughs> turkey legs. He got turkey leg and now ladies in his gray sweats. <laughs> Damn it, man! And Meg, you shut up over there looking like Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Where in the world is Carmen Diego? <laughs> She's been looking for her eyes for 10 years. So low key, Carmen San Diego is on the top tier of sexy cartoons with Nala and Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. Nala? Nala, Nala was. Nala in them bushes, sexy. man. Nala in them bushes. Yeah. The way she looked at Simba oh, after she pinned yeah. him, I was like. Wait, 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 wait. You guys are going to sit here and tell me that a female lion was giving you more than Princess Jasmine? Oh. Right. Just oh. Jasmine. No, no that's that's disgusting. Fact. Princess, now Ursula was bad too, though. Y'all sleeping on Ursula. No. Hey, you guys, never Ursula, Ursula, Ursula was like a, like a, Ursula. Like a thick, thick auntie, but she wasn't bad. No, she was like, I mean, no. but I, I would have took her down. Nah, <laughs> all the Disney princesses, you was like, nah, Ursula, man. <laughs> Ursula can get it, though. <laughs> Ursula can get it. Ursula and Jessica Rabbit? <laughs> you guys are disgusting. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit is number one. Hands down. Jessica Rabbit, Jessica yes. Jessica Rabbit was They second. made her dimensions very hourglassy, but not a lot of lying. Herman said it was the bushes. It was the I, bushes. I, I guarantee Jessica Rabbit didn't have ass. It was all hips. Oh, Armin yeah. oh, yeah. San Diego, part of it was the mystery thing. She had the hat and stuff. She had the coat. And you know why she had a big ass hat? Because she looked like The Rock in disguise. <laughs> Look, at that chin. Look at that chin. Oh, I ain't talking about no. that. Person. She, she looks like Moana. Jessica, <laughs> Rabbit, Jessica Rabbit had cakes too. 
But Carmen San Diego was handsome. Shit. <laughs> Carmen San Diego had lawyer face. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a public That's defender. Like you know San Diego on Netflix, and she does. She looks really cute, actually. Yeah, that, they, they made that like a. They made her look like a new Disney thing. I'm talking about she the original. Said she looked like The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, The Rock could play the old San Diego. Oh my god! <laughs> Tom, what's your favorite between jeans or joggers or sweats? Uh, Bro. I'm going with um, jeans. <laughs> jeans. Oh, uh, we still. <laughs> she uh, low key though. Low key, she, low key, she does look like she looks like Goliath from the uh, Gorgon. <laughs> what is a Gorgon? What is a Gorgon? <laughs> I blend the Gorgon and Gorgon together. It's a, it's a real, it's a real dressed Gorgon. We try to find out what Carmen San Diego is cooking. Stop talking right now. <laughs> she why, why is she wearing a trench coat and a, and a turtleneck? She's doing the most. What's she trying to hide? And Carmen San Diego used to let me know I didn't know nothing about no other countries but America. Right. What, did, <laughs> what did she do? She I never really watched that show. She, she, she was a go thief. Escape. And she would go to like different, I mean, she would hide in like different places. And the whole like premise of the show is you had to figure out what country she was in based on like the clues. She was a so criminal? She, no, she would just, I don't know. Wait, she, she, stole, stole, she, she stole from the criminals. No, no, no. She, she stole she from the criminals. Right. She didn't her she the so she, she stole was from in the criminals. So she Shut was up, in different. Up. She was in different countries, but you never knew why she was there or how she had the money to pay for it. She was an IG model back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> that was all, good. I see how you can make those dots, though. So that was everybody good. Everybody that gets looted out can sometimes pay for themselves. <laughs> and Carmen mm -hmm. San Diego was handling business because she was stealing from the thieves. Okay? No boy out here drinking warm gravy out of that red cup. <laughs> <laughs> like red <laughs> gravy, you know. <laughs> Shut up. If I never had to wear jeans again ever in my life, I would be happy. I, I love sweatpants and shorts and sweat shorts. Those are even better than, ah, it's just the best, man. Hey, if you, wear, if you wear jeans while you lounging at home, I seriously think that you might be crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah why would you wear jeans at home? Pat, you know, but here's the thing, though. But okay, so at home, obviously, you wear sweatpants. Jeans, they're just for going out. But if you're going out somewhere like, like, let's say you're going to a dinner, you would really wear joggers and sweats over jeans? Come on, no boy, you show some class. Show some Except class. You, no boy. <laughs> but everybody else. No uh, boy, I mean, I wear Doughboy, sweats, I just don't want to. Doughboy wore shorts with the tassels to Kev's birthday dinner. First of all, they were camouflaged. With, That's a different thing. They were. It was specific instructions in the email. It was an after five event, and he wore shorts. Didn't you wear a jersey and shorts and, and Jordans to your own wedding? <laughs> <laughs> no boy, <Absolutely>. wow. <laughs> you wore a jersey to your wedding? It wasn't a jersey, but I did wear cargo shorts and team Jordans. That's why I think the marriage failed. <laughs> <laughs> it was you didn't even wear pants beginning. to your wedding? Oh, uh, man. Who wears uh, shorts to their wedding, though, boy? Where did you see Show us your favorite up? mode, shorts over everything, though. Nah, oh, man, it was hot, man. We got married at a park, man. It was a Kensington next door. It was a whole thing. <laughs> I didn't have time to think. I still didn't even rent out the park. But you got dressed at home. You didn't know the Kinsiana was there until you were already Man, there. I was wrapping my vows and nobody was bobbing their head. I felt stupid. You remember <laughs> your vows? I don't. I was like, I met you eight years ago back at Wells Fargo. The kids and everybody was just like, "Man, hurry up!" <laughs> you, you, <laughs> wait a really second. Happen? Hold on, wait a second. Been... Wait a second. Wait a second. Yes, you, you, Joe Exotic, your wedding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? I Teddy, don't, no Teddy was the best man and did not want to give me the ring. I was like, give it to me. He was like, man. He was like, he was like, he was on to square up. The Eddie Eddie Boy needs a Netflix documentary. Oh my God. 84 <laughs> days later. Teddy didn't want to give the ring. <laughs> give it here. Man, no, I don't, want to, I don't want to be part of this at all. Hey, hey, Boy should have a Netflix documentary called Sloppy Joe Exotic. <laughs> 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 yeah. Shut up, man, joggers over jeans. Shut up, move hey. on, move no on. No said after his wedding, they went through McDonald's drive through and got McFlurries and filet hey. fish Filet-O-Fish is, is the fancy shit. 
But wait, wait, wait. You didn't even have catering? You went to McDonald's? No, man. Then I went and got drunk. New Amsterdam, vodka. I drank a fifth my how, own. How long, how long did y'all plan this? Like 30 minutes before? or About a week and a half, two weeks. <laughs> Your wedding day was okay, literally just a trip to the park. I jump into things, and then I figure it out, then I try to jump out. I'd you couldn't like, even ah. go to Sizzler? <laughs> Shut up, man. I want Doe's book before I write my book. <laughs> <laughs> How your wedding day have the cadence of a soccer game? <laughs> 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 you went out for McDonald's and pizza afterwards. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> the visual of a little kid smacking a piñata and a soccer ball rolling through your wedding party is hilarious. We had no, we had a mobile priest and he was rushing us like, man, you got to hurry up. I got another wedding in Bray. I'm like, man, shut up. This is the most important day of my life. Oh, yeah, but the four or five though. All right, man. <laughs> he could have fired back, but like, right. he got shorts on, bro. Anyway, <laughs> you take. <laughs> I'm gonna go jeans all day, man. I like, I like, I like jeans. I like having two back pockets. I hate the fact that joggers, most joggers, don't have two <laughs> back pockets. What are you putting in your back pockets, dude? I put my phone and my wallet in my back pocket. I put my wallet in my back pocket. Huh? I'll be putting as much in my back pocket. wallet as possible because I, know, back I don't like bulky pockets. Yeah, I hate, I hate that. I hate my front do of you, my hand. Do you guys, did, for the guys here, do you guys put your wallet in your back pocket or your front pocket? I used to put it in the back, but now I put it in the front. I put it in the front. I put it in my back pocket. Why do you guys put stuff in your back pocket so you can sit down and break it? It's not everybody wears pants like you, Pat. <laughs> what? Not everyone what? Not everyone has a purse like funny. you. You have a purse, so you're not in this conversation. <laughs> See, I have a purse. You, have a purse <laughs> pass. A no, you really can't tell. You got a whole purse. <laughs> yeah, everything. Pat, Pat dude looks like he got a Gucci coin purse in, inside of a purse. Here's the Pat. thing about here's the thing about sweats <laughs> that I don't like. I never like how sweats fall and the way they, they the way they stop at the bottom. So that's always an issue for me. You got to get tapered sweats, man. Spend a little extra money get get the tapered sweats. You know another problem inherently that I have with jeans? What size they, fits all doesn't fit you? No, partially. Because they assume all people that have big waists are tall. So back in the day, if I had a 48 waist, they would assume it'd be a 34. But I was short as hell. So I think that they are prejudiced against the fat community. You never, assume, shop, you never shop at Penguin? And you know you you know you get your pants like just taken to the cleaners and they can just hem them up a little bit, right? Shut you up. Get them hamming up. Just get them <laughs> up <to my> pants. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going joggers just because of the comfort. Even though I feel like I can't do serious work in joggers. So wait, like, wait, wait. You're switching from jeans to joggers now. Because you said jeans in the beginning. Did I? He doesn't remember that. <laughs> that part of the conversation. Well, I don't think I don't think you should be able to pick joggers to here because you don't jog. <laughs> <laughs> but I sweat. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> like, the only thing I don't like about sweatpants is the pockets are not designed right. Stuff always falls out of the pockets. Always. Yes. I've lost AirPods. Phones fall out. Donuts, <laughs> pizza pockets, Skittles, Starburst, <laughs> Pop Tarts. <laughs> Handfuls of rice. You know what's funny? You just reminded me of Handfuls of rice? Was it cooked rice? <laughs> just put hey. a handful of rice in your pocket. <laughs> I remember that episode we did a squad cast when uh, Kev said he had ran out the house to get to the church van and he had sausage in his pocket. No paper towel or nothing. He just had <laughs> sausage in his pocket. I remember that. The van <laughs> driver was like, you just got meat in your pocket? Mm hmm <laughs> My kids are eating Raisin Bran Crunch now, and that's the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I oh, can take all the ridicule. Bro, I buy Raisin Bran Crunch, and I give them Cinnamon Toast Crunch, crunch and Lucky Charms. Huh? You say, you say Raisin Bran Crunch? Crunch. <laughs> hey, Kevin messing up all day. He was texting me this morning like he was drunk. I was like, I'm going to get you a sponsor. Yo, his autocorrect on his phone always make him spell Can words. Can you turn more. it off, Kev? I feel like you turn off your autocorrect. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> to do that. It never work. Huh? It doesn't work. When you text, you always be, we have to interpret your text. Man, I be texting fast. <laughs> I sent them a, a dad joke. He was like, this is fantasy. And then he was like, fantasy? <laughs> Fantastic. It's like, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Shut up, Shahir. You, um. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. What did you say? I just said you're small. <laughs> jeans, all right, jeans, come on. What are we I'm doing? Going, I'm going sweats and joggers. I'm, I'm jeans. I'm jeans. 
I'm I'm joggers. Also, the new the jeans with the polyester that have like the 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 give of joggers, but our jeans, I like that. You That's hella awesome. pregnant. You set your pregnant ass up. <laughs> I feel bad. I need special jeans. I can't just go off the rack. I need special. How stuff. how old are you that you wearing jeggings right now? Like where are you at in your life when you think jeggings? You just have some poly. Out? You know what? I just like jeans or joggers. Let's next topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Pat didn't get to go, and Tony didn't explain why he picked jeans. No, he's picking jeans, of course. Oh yeah, I picked jeans because I can't perform on stage in sweats, and then um, jeans. I don't know. They just fit me better. And like sweats, like I said, I don't like the the way they fall and the way they bunch up at the bottom. Don't always. Tone, I'm gonna get you some quality Nike Tech fleece. You, that's gonna change your life. He, he mean, can't. He can't wear suspenders with the Nike. God damn! Who <sighs> here looks for a response? Mm. He was looking. Don't act like you frozen. Don't act like you frozen. You good? Your wife over there. The joke is frozen. Turn around, baby. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Let's get on. Oh, we see you. You, 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 you own kiss, it. You sit in that. Y'all didn't kiss the whole joke. I froze up. The computer froze uh, up. Uh, no, we you look like one of them Chuck E. Cheese animals when the when the song's over. You're just like <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's eyes was darting around though. Like anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I froze. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Sweats all day. Sweats, Sweats you are. It's chic. You say what, uh, Pat? Sweats. Sweats, joggers. I already know. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we got to two leggings for this since I'm a woman. Yeah, you good, man. You can do that. Oh, leggings, then. Yes, I'm gonna say leggings. leggings. All right, man. I figured as much. But well, Tom, me and you rocking with it, bro. We got we, the jeans. We on. real men. Y'all can't, y'all can't. Here's the thing. With another thing about joggers and sweats, you can't wear them everywhere. Like Tom said, like on stage, out to eat, you go to a party. Like you got on a nice pair of it jeans. It ain't about nice that. Shirt. It's about what you prefer. Yeah, we didn't say where are we going. You said what do we prefer? Also, what happens if you do? You get put out, or you won't get let in. You get ridiculed. We can't really go happen, to those places. That don't happen. I'd be like, I'd be getting let in everywhere, and I'd be having jeans. I mean, I'd be I having. I feel like sweats. because everywhere you go is a laid back function they always think he they always think he want to go in there to use the restroom (laughs) (laughs) straight to the back next to the kitchen and buy something (laughs) (laughs) people see pat walking down the street like i ain't got no change fam what the fuck out my face (laughs) (laughs) dang (laughs) all right so we only got two for jeans looks like the joggers and the sweats have it man uh moving on to this next topic right after this Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tahir Moore. I want to let you know that this episode is sponsored in part by Lightstream. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what Lightstream is, okay? Because we all probably have gone through this at one point. You know, credit card bills start racking up, especially right now. Got a lot of things going on. How would you like to erase your credit card bills? Hmm? I'm talking about a credit card consolidation loan from my friends at Lightstream can help you mark your credit card paid in full. Does that... Does that sound good? Do I got your attention right now? Good. Lightstream believes that people with good credit deserve a better loan experience, and that's exactly what they deliver. You get to quickly roll all the balances from multiple credit cards into one single monthly loan payment, right? That sounds so much better than paying here and paying here and paying here, and then, oh, what do I have left? Roll it all to one, one single monthly payment. Now you have more money monthly to handle your needs and your living expenses. You get a low fixed interest rate and free up more money. Free up more money. That's what we all want. We all want more money. Lightstream's credit card consolidation loans have rates just as low as 5.95% APR with auto pay and there are absolutely no fees. Not only that, if you apply, you can even get money the same day. Come on, guys. Throwing you the lifeline right now. Just for my listeners, apply now to get an additional interest rate discount and save even more. That's right. You get to save even more money. I know you're rocking with that. The only way to get this discount is to go to lightstream.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D. One D at a time, okay? That's L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-A-M.com forward slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D for an additional discount. You're welcome. Moving on, we have ice cream versus frozen yogurt. This one had me up all night. No, <laughs> gas, gas had you up all night. <laughs> Indigestion had you up all night. 
Because I like both of them so much for different reasons. Like ice cream is nostalgic. Takes me back to my childhood, birthday parties, ice cream Sundays. Yesterday. Ice cream <laughs> ice cream ice cream socials. You guys ever been to an ice cream social? Exactly. Yesterday and yesterday and yesterday. And what yesterday. is that? What's the ice cream social? You just show up, they have different types of ice cream, everybody's having a good time, laughing, and you're eating ice cream and you're doing this. And you're making business contacts. It's greater for world mm. peace and humanity. Yeah. I love it. But I really do love the experience of going and getting frozen yogurt. Sometimes I put more toppings than ice cream, but it's a whole thing, and I love it. So I, I would give ice cream the early edge, but there's room for debate there. I think I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm right with you, though. I can't even front, though, because, like, coming up, ice cream was, like, far Everything. none. Like, nothing, nothing could beat ice cream, especially, like, my favorite is, uh, butter pecan and now rocky roll but now that they have yogurt land and you have mm. all of these flavors and the toppings and you can get as many as you want like you know you want you go to baskin robbins bro you get literally two scoops that's gonna run you 18 dollars for two scoops <laughs> <laughs> robbins is ludicrous with the prices bro yes. they crazy but i will with say it. this i will say this even though it is crazy with the prices like there's nostalgia to baskin robbins remember when, when it was called 31 flavors Mm. Back in the day, and I will say this: every year for my birthday, I always get an ice cream cake from Baskin Robbins. That's like a must. That's what I was gonna say. Ain't no frozen yogurt cake. Ain't no frozen yogurt sandwiches. Ain't no frozen <laughs> yogurt trucks. I feel like frozen yogurt is cool, but it don't have what ice cream have. Ain't nobody eating frozen yogurt with pie. Ain't nobody eating frozen yogurt with brownies. Ice cream is yeah, universal. Yeah. Nah. If you go to Fro Yogurt Land or any of the Froyo places, they be having brownies, they be having all that kind of stuff. Chocolate. Yeah, when you, when you make, I think what you know, you, oh, my bad, my bad. Go, go ahead, Tom. Go ahead, Tony Baker. Here's, Here's what I like about frozen yogurt. It's all soft serve. And so I don't I don't like the hardness of ice cream now. Like when you get a scoop, they be in there struggling to <laughs> They put your arm in it. They be like, <laughs> put their arm in, and then the new employee ain't strong enough. Help the new employee. They be struggling. The spoons be bending, and then cold stone. They be throwing ice cream on the little ice grill. And oh, they be, I hate so, that. I hate it. I do not like that. That's the how I call it. That's the hibachi of ice cream. It's a oh, it's a man. big moment. It looks dumb. That's how they get. That's the ice cream up. And the only reason ice cream was hot back in the day was because that's all we had. Like, frozen yeah. yogurt didn't exist back in the day. So it was like, back in the day, well, your frozen yogurt didn't come out yet. But I like frozen yogurt better because it's softer all the time. It all is soft. Is and McDonald's ice cream machine frozen yogurt or ice cream? It feels like frozen yogurt. No, it's ice cream because frozen yogurt means it's, like, made with yogurt. But that ice cream is just made with, like, dairy milk. Ice cream machine. So wait, yeah, so what, what is uh, the slow churn? Soft serve. That's soft no, serve. No, that's ice cream. Slow churn is just unless it says yogurt on it is ice cream. But it's but soft. It, it's soft serve. Ice yeah, cream. but it feels softer than the regular ice cream when it's slow churn. Right, because of how they churn it, like the, how they're mixing it, just like a whipped butter. It's because of how they whip the butter as opposed so to just regular blocks. Is soft serve ice cream or is soft serve in the yogurt category? Soft serves ice. I'm I mean, if you're talking about what it's made it with, it's ice it. cream. Yeah, soft it's serve could be ice cream. regular ice cream or, or yogurt. It could be yeah, all sort of floats. Soft serve just means it comes out like soft. Oh, yeah, it's like softer ice cream. Served soft. So it's was was <laughs> was soft serve ice cream the answer to yogurt because people were saying it was too hard, so it came up with a oh. version to no, make it. Right. 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 Soft serve <laughs> ice cream first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So 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 yogurt is biting soft serve sweat. <laughs> was yeah. soft serve the answer to frozen yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> because ice cream was the antagonist to cold teeth. He's <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> it was supposed to be, frozen yogurt is supposed to be healthier than like ice cream or soft serve. Yeah, cream. there's a like sign for that. Yogurt, episode which has more protein, it's supposed to be healthy. It's like fat, fat free or something. Yogurt isn't really healthier, is it? Really healthy, healthy. I think what Pat brought up is the versatility of ice cream is a very important factor in this debate. Mm -hmm. If you're going Sunday for Sunday. You know, dessert for dessert, it's a toss up. But ice cream pairs well with a lot of things. But you can't have a banana split with yogurt. You can. Oh, yeah. You yeah. can. 
Who would want to do that? Who would do that? Yes, because this is soft serve. What do you think they give you at um, McDonald's? It's soft serve ice cream, which is the same consistency as frozen yogurt. But what about they have have vanilla flavored uh, uh, frozen yogurt? So it doesn't really matter. (laughs) It's a glitch. It's a glitch in my thing, guys. What about ice cream sandwich? Yeah, you can't have yogurt sandwiches. And he always talk like he's going next and double dutch. He like it got <laughs> to hear I, 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 jump I, I, in I, I, or, or wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to hear it's okay. How's your shoulder, Kev? Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> yeah, y'all are so up. mean. Y'all are so mean to each other. <laughs> yeah. But this is oh, down the stairs and dislocated my shoulder. Ben is fell down the stairs. Yes, he yes. dislocated his shoulder. Who How popped it back in I, t- I typed in my comment that I fell down the stairs, Pat. You were so busy saying that I look like a roast pork that you didn't listen to the – you didn't read the caption. Hey, I said you look like a butcher's uh, cut of pork. <laughs> <laughs> and then T.I. commented. I was like, oh, T.I. commented on my post. And it was just him laughing at your comment. <laughs> Get out of here, Cliff. I thought, I thought you pulled the muscle hey, watching Hulu. Kev, who, who popped your shoulder back in? It popped back in by itself. Like you felt it? How? Yeah, I watched it. I don't know. I was. It was dinner there. time, and he was like, "Oh yeah!" <laughs> My wife was about to call nine one one to pop it back in, and it was just like, "Oh!" It just yeah. happened. It just popped back in. It is. It was really painful. It was, no, Pat. Huh? He he fell down some stairs. He fell down seven stairs before he reached up to try to stop falling. <laughs> Did you say oh, when you fell? Oh, tone. It was <laughs> like, <laughs> if I would have had the video tone, you would have had to do that twice to cover the amount of time. You would have been like, skip that diddly dee. I was falling like, Rip. I told no boy on the podcast, I literally was falling so long. I was like, man, I am falling down these stairs. Like I had that clear thought at that time and I was still falling. I was like, I should try to grab this railing. Yeah, so <laughs> popped out, popped back in, and popped out again. In the <laughs> <laughs> Our wife said the painters were laughing at me, and she came around the corner, and they were like, oh, sorry. <laughs> they were like, ja, 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 ja. But you get that, because I should be feeling like, ah, peasant, look at this vast home that I live in. Like, take a step, like, do, 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 do. No, but then no. That's but a racist this, joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this yeah, is the best part. Now still pay is spelling ha ha ha. <laughs> the H and the J in Spanish is for is a whole time. <laughs> no. <laughs> go ahead, go. But listen, listen. After he falls, dislocates his shoulder. His wife tells him to drive home. Guess what this fat nigga did after he was supposed to drive home? Uber. He went to four different stores looking for spicy noodles. <laughs> Kev. I, what? In my defense. He dropped his sandwich wanted, while he failed. No. In <laughs> my defense, eat. I wanted the noodles before I fell down the stairs. <laughs> just because I had to change. Huh, with the you know how it is, man. When you have a taste for something, oh, you need it. You got to. <laughs> you needed a doctor. That's his home, he, he had his arm riding on the passenger seat next to him, looking for spicy noodles. Cam tried to act like he didn't hear Melissa. She was like, make sure you get some icy hot spicy noodles. For sure. <laughs> <It's not cool. laughs> the visual yeah, yeah, of his arm like, sitting in the seat next to him <laughs> is so funny. Oh, man, it's funny. He get out the car and put it on be like... <laughs> <laughs> he I put it on back with his elbows in the front. <laughs> like, yeah, spicy noodles. Like, that don't look right. I right. forget all that. Spicy noodles. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> you didn't forget all that with the elbow facing forward. <laughs> so did you find him? Did you find him? Nope. I went to three different grocery places. And they didn't have him. There was a guy in Rite Aid. He didn't have a mask on. They threw him out of the Rite Aid. It was crazy. It was pandemonium. Bro. Out, like Jazzy Jeff? They threw him out. He was mad. Everybody had masks. We're turning into the purge society, man. There's, that mask thing is, these people are not playing. I see some Mexican people selling masks on the side of the road for $5. And I was like, man, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Fair is selling them for 10 the wrong thing, Tony. You so can't. Rite Aid for spicy noodles. 
No, he went to three different oh, stores that were nice. that were practicing social distancing. So he had to wait to get in the store, go and look, not see it, and then go to another one. Well, what's what are you trying to find? <laughs> you know, like, like the nong, nong shim. Oh, like the instant? Yeah. Oh, those are fire. See? That <laughs> knows. Uh-huh. They're fire. You went to three oh. stores? Oh, yeah. Get over this, Megan. To here, uh-huh. put your panties down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it was like, it's clean. <laughs> I got you a pair too, Pat. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Sheesh. You <laughs> didn't have to explain it. Put your panties down. <laughs> you know what's in my door. Happened. Hold on, hold on. Postmates. <laughs> Talk about who Sorry. is it. You know, you got the alert. Sir, we do not have enough inventory for this order. <laughs> we keep telling you. <laughs> Who's All, right, it? Guys. All right, what are we? Wait, what are we you even your, talking about? Y'all are the first to stay on topic. You let your post face uh, person in the house? Shut up. <laughs> he has a key. <laughs> she like came in with those. You like just regular place? Put it in the bed. <laughs> put it on the bed. bed. Put it on the bed next to the pillow again. Put it on the bed. <laughs> I'll see you in a few hours. <laughs> no boy be on Postmates like the sneakerheads. Like, I heard they got a new pot roast place opening up. I got, a, I got the lottery ticket. Pot roast place? <laughs> Jesus. They use, uh, the, they use the chuck. You know, they got the prime cut. But this one. <laughs> when was the last time you actually had pot roast? We I had, had pot roast like three, two weeks ago in the corner. We had it last week. What was that when you cooked the pot roast? Was that last week? Two weeks last ago. Week. I, had I had it, it last week. week. Like I had it, but with a caveat. I had it like two weeks ago, but my girl made it in an Instant Pot, and it took like 30 minutes, and I don't really respect that. <laughs> you ate it, though. It but you ate it. it. It's an Instant Pot. It's like a crock pot that cooks Man, super so fast. fast. It's amazing. And, I love it. And, and you can cook stuff straight from frozen state, so like you don't even have to let it thaw out. You put the, the chicken breast right in there, put some vegetable broth in there, season that joint up. getting hard months. right now. <laughs> huh? I think you're getting hard right now. I cannot stand up. This is true. I can't he, stand up. This is why he chose Gene, so he could talk about chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he don't have to try and hide hey, y'all remember? Sorry, man. This ain't you. Y'all remember going through puberty in middle school, and your meat would just get hard, and it, out of nowhere, you'd be like, "Fam, we this is geography. What's going Bro, on?" And never, Gene would never save you. They would give you extra cover. Like, if you never in sweat, you out of here. Oh, never in school. Sweat. Never in school. Always in church. Always oh, it's in way church. harder to explain in church. Oh, man. And we, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Explain this for me as a female. So when you're going through puberty, like at that age, you can't control when you get no, hard. You get hard, hard like 20 I times a day. Hard. You don't even have to look at something. You can just think about something. It'd be like. <laughs> I was hard. Said, I stayed hard. Hard, <laughs> hard week, 20 times a day for man. no reason. And Nothing they would come at weird times. times. Weird, man. Weird about it. Tony, come up here and do the math on the board. I'll be like, hi. Roaches. 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 Think about roaches. I had to. Like the roach had a hard meat. He was like, yeah, I'm about to have roach sex. (laughs) Roach had hard meat. Roaches, I would always bring in. I'm like, roaches cooking eggs. Yes, roaches cooking (laughs) eggs. (laughs) (laughs) What? I always use nuns. Most cook eggs because they're flat on the ground. They are. Are they on their hind legs? <laughs> yeah, they stand up cooking. When you, you see the bottom parts of the roach. Oh. Like, ew, ew, yes, perfect. And then I would get up and do the problem. Oh, then, as soon as I sat back down, I was Woody Harrelson. <laughs> Woody Harrelson, that's hilarious. Woody Harrelson. Man. Wait, when does that stop though? For like, when does that stop? High school. Probably it was sixth through ninth grade were some tough days. I used to keep a book out of my backpack in my hand just in case I needed to. To cover myself, I would never put all my books in my backpack because I need to just you be you be see a middle school standing there just hold his backpack in his front. He man. going through puberty, man. Why y'all are saying? I'm trying to remember because as a, a female, we never think about this stuff in middle school. I'm like, oh don't. man, them kids, man. Was, them dudes around you was was sweating bullets trying to hide that. That's yeah. So funny, I never. We'd be thinking about nothing. I'd be like, man, man, that was a good show last night. Then pure wood. Ah. <laughs> 
It was always in weird classes too, like social studies. <laughs> Man, biology, biology, I had a whole orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hunter gatherer. <laughs> biology. biology. I remember Bi- having wet dreams before they told me what was happening. I was oh, like, yeah. oh my god! I thought I peed on myself. I thought yeah. I peed on myself too. I was like, I peed on myself, but it felt good in my dream. I had to peel it off my thigh. <laughs> Oh, oh to uh, yeah. You always oh, gotta, yeah. It's not, come on. This, it uh, was already enough to hear. It was uh, enough. Uh, and we were talking about our child selves. Disgusting. Uh, this, uh, disgusting. Uh, uh, it didn't move when I shook it. I had to, I had to pee. Oh, it here looked like, uh, so here looked like um, Harry at the end of Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> he, was, he was licking that thing on the ski thing on the on the movie. Oh, that took a long time to not get yeah, no. I was, like, yeah, I was trying to I was trying to giggle with it. Like that was hard to watch. See, here, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! His sponsored shirt. Huh? Nope. <laughs> Kevin, oh, your balls! Oh, oh, your balls! Part. You showed your balls! <laughs> Kevin is sitting on the couch with boy shorts on right oh. now. Booty shorts. Fix, fix yeah, that. They're just bunched up. Shorts. They're real. Fix, oh, no. fix they're that real. Fix Melissa, that smacked, post. Melissa smacked Kev on the ass on the way out of the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Go do your little squad cast. Go do your little squad cast. Take care. Oh, that's funny, man. Oh, that, oh, that dog. Get on out of here. The whole panty oh, shit. Oh, man. Man. Man, I didn't know the laptop was going to show that part. I was trying to make yes. the joke. I made more. I made. I embarrassed myself more. Just uh, shut up. Fix Just that shut in, up. Fix that. Hey, man, what do you guys think about the Dow Jones industrial up. average yeah, right man, now? Shut up, man. Shut up, you nerd. <laughs> Camel go on stage. <laughs> Jeez. Give it, up. See that? Give it up for Gooch oh. on stage. <laughs> Gooch on stage? <laughs> Woo. All right, man. So let's go ahead and get this tally going what up. Was, right what now. was the thing? What was the topic again? Ice cream Ice versus fro- frogan yogurt. Frozen but see, yogurt. You know, we don't frozen? On topic. Frozen this, yogurt? Keep this in mind. Ice cream don't got <laughs> so no. Here, I'm going to always get you. Frogan. Always. Frogan yogurt sounds like Game of Thrones. Game Is of Thrones. Frogan? Ah, the Frogan yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Go up north. It has the best Frogan. Talk to, talk to Frogan. <laughs> Frogan bag. Frogan. Oh my Tony, God. you a whole, whole ass nigga for that. Jesus. Come on. Go up way. north. They have the best whole, Frogan yogurt. Whole ass nigga. I am to hear more House of Frogan Yogurt, first of his name, <laughs> protector of the <laughs> toppings. <laughs> protector of the toppings? He opened, up a, he opened up a truck full of gummy bears and, and M&Ms. <laughs> All right, Joe. We got it. We got it from toppings. And Kev, you shut your kick ass up. You over there dressed like a hoe. Shut up. <laughs> we got to do a lot. I nobody would see bottom. That's oh, my, my shirt. God. Look like at Kev is dressed for his OnlyFans podcast right after this. <laughs> right after that. I ain't got no socks on either. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Right, oh, God. Okay. That's the You're walking God. around the house like a true baby mama right now. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is one, this is one important thing to consider, though. Ice Joe Boy want to talk about this ice cream so bad. <laughs> he ain't never trying to bring us back to the topic so hard. Ice cream ain't got no fire nicknames. Frozen yogurt got Froyo. That's All right, guys, let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and tally it up real quick before don't say something else stupid. <laughs> <laughs> how's, that, how's that gravy, my boy? <laughs> Shut up. <sighs> so I think Pat's, Pat? made, Pat's made the, the best argument, I, and I, the ice cream is good in so many ways. I'm going with ice cream. That was a solid argument. I'm doing I'm froyo. Go. I'm going froyo all day, man. I like the froyo. I'm going ice cream, too, just because in addition to being great by itself, it makes other people better. It's like the LeBron of desserts, so. No, I'm gonna go with ice cream because if I had to pick, if one left this earth, which one would I be sad about? And it would be ice cream. Okay, Kev, ice cream. So, uh, I'm gonna go with ice cream. 
surprisingly. Yeah. Everybody out here, y'all just left me out here on these Froyo streets? Yeah. Anybody like me. And, and, and Froyo information, ice cream is better. <laughs> We're going to move on to this <laughs> last and final topic. <laughs> All your information. <laughs> Can't believe y'all gave him that. No. Can't be, can't be giving it. That's why, that's why Kevin's a thought. He dressed like that because he just give it up to anybody. He just laughing at whatever. A thought ass. Well, I let you feature for me every week. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> go to commercials in here. Just go to commercials. When Kevin ain't got nothing, he's just going to hit you with a cold hard fact. <laughs> I'm not good at roasting. I told how's, y'all. How's your shoulder, whore? <laughs> My shoulder is in a lot of pain. I, I, I didn't tell you. Melissa was like, Isaiah, sit in this room and make sure Isaiah, make sure your dad don't do nothing. And I was like, Isaiah, for real, bro, I got to get out of this room. And he was like, all right, push me out the room with your left shoulder and I'll leave. Oh, <laughs> they smell blood. They First of all, smell so blood. Then, Later on that night, Isaiah walking past me in the hallway. He was like, you know, I'm, a, I'm the strongest man in this house. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I couldn't Yo. do nothing because my arm was coming. killing me. That's so Kevin, funny. if you were in the lion pride, you would be shunned out. Oh. You'd be shunned out I'm, there. If I was a wildebeest, I'm in the oh. back. Hey, pick him off, bro. He trash yep. out here. You might have been one. That's fine. All right. We're going to go on to this last and final topic. We have Ja Rule versus 50 Cent. Who has more hits? Woo, this is. Mm. A, Wait, this before is, we get into it, who do y'all think initially off the top of your head? 50. I, I think, think Ja Rule I has more no. hits. I'm going to say Ja Rule. I, I would, initially, I would say Ja Rule has more radio hits. I would say Ja hits. too, man. I would say 50. Ja had a couple summers where he was, he couldn't miss for like two summers in a row. It was. Facts. Because 50, 50 Cent has bigger albums, obviously, but Ja Rule had hit after hit after hit. But so did 50. Candy Shop, um, In the Club, uh, Disco Inferno. Let's go one Matt, by one. Uh, Disco, yeah, Disco let's Inferno go. wasn't like a hit hit. Yeah, it wasn't, though. I think mm-hmm. they did the Candy Shop. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let, let Meg and Pat go hit for hit. Okay. You have 50s? Yeah, I got it up. Mm-hmm. All right. 2001, Always on Time, uh, Ja Rule. That was a good gig. Uh, am I just listing all mine? Yeah, go ahead. We'll right. I thought we were going one for one. All right, Mesmerize. Y'all remember that by yeah. uh, Ja Rule? Yeah. Is yeah. mm-hmm. that a hit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right, It's Murder. Holla, murder. holla, it's yeah. murder. Yeah. Right, holla, holla? No, it's not. Oh, holla, not. holla is a different song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know what It's Murder is. Uh, Living It Up. Yes, living all it up, I do yeah. is living it up. Mm-hmm. What that, I do. do. That was okay, Steve, y'all that was Wonder up. song, right? Yeah. Uh, down ass bitch. Mm-hmm. Between me and you. Every day we did. Yeah. Clap back. Great song. We gonna clap back. Uh, uh, let's take him to wall, nigga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that Old drama or your Chewbacca impersonation? <laughs> <laughs> then holla holla. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Caught up. Yeah. What about I'm real? You haven't said I'm real yet. No, that's still on here. Oh, uh, can I get her? Can yeah, I get her? Yes. What, what? Hold no, on, wait, 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 wait. Do we give uh, Holla Holla 2 because they did the original, then they did the remix. The remix put it back on the charts. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, I think I'm Real was an Ashanti song, wasn't it? Oh, I'm, I'm Real. real. And, uh, real. No, that's a J-Lo. J-Lo. It's a J-Lo song. But I think it was on both albums. Oh, I, think, I thought yeah, it was on John both albums. was on that heavy. Yeah, he, he yeah, was, no, he was for sure on that, but it's not on here. But we should give him that anyway, because he was what made the song. Yeah. All right. So every song, wait, wait, wait. So every song that features Fifty and Ja Rule as well, or just their We could do uh, him in the game. That should be counted. Yeah, it could be. They could be. They could be. They could be, co- they could be collaborative. That's. Fine. I think. I think if it's if the hit is big enough, if we all feel justified in saying that the hit is big enough, and that okay. I'm real was big enough for that. All okay. right. Well, then that's eleven. We got New York. Yeah, put it on me. Okay, put it on me. Yeah, uh, and then after 2008, I don't know any of these. Nah, there's nothing. That's that's where it is. That was the fire festival planning. Yeah, what about what about Furious from Fast and Furious? Nah, Nah. no, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that at all. We're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with 13. 13 13 is fine. That's good. Okay, that's a good number to start with. Now, what we got for 50? Okay, so for 50, we had um. How to rob. This is not in order, by the way. 
uh, Down on Me, which is Jeremiah featuring 50 Cent. That was a hit. Yeah. It was. It was. Yeah. It was number four on the Billboard. It was a hit. In the Club. Mm-hmm. Cool. Show. Disco Inferno. Mm-hmm. How We Do, the game featuring 50 Cent. Mm-hmm. Woohoo. Game of 50 do. Cent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. No. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Five. P-I-M-P. Mm-hmm. Magic Stick. Mm-hmm. 21 Questions. Mm-hmm. Hate It or Love It. Mm-hmm. Candy Shop. Mm-hmm. Already, I like these songs more than Ja Rule. <laughs> okay, that's 10 already, you guys. Wanksta. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we didn't say Wanksta yet. AO Technology. Mm-hmm. No. Yes, with Justin. With Justin. That was that trash. Was, that was, was, I didn't like it, but it was a hit. It was a hit, though. We got five on the billboard. We got to pick huh? that. Um, I don't know about this. Up, Love Rants featuring I Am Sue and Skipper or 50 Cent? Nah. No. Okay, what about the getting... power theme song? Does that count? Nah. No. No. That's um, a, that's a banger. Out of Control, 50 Cent featuring Mob Deep. Out of Control. No. Oh, man, I love that song. I, don't know I like it, but yeah, I don't know if it was a hit. No, nah, it was not um, a hit. Crack a Bottle, Eminem, Dre, 50. That was no. just a big song. Mm. No, nah, it wasn't a hit, though. Mm. I, I think they tied. Number one. It hit at number one. They're very, they are it very. Yeah. So technically, Ja Rule has more because I'm looking at Billboard and there's a bunch of stuff I never heard of that peaked really high, like Wonderful with R. Kelly and Ashanti, Down For You uh, is with Ja Rule and Ashanti. Oh, I, I, I kind of remember that song. Uh, I don't think we said Thug Lovin' with Bobby Brown. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's what that was. Hold on, because then you got now you at what 14 15? Uh, 16. Like 15. And then yeah, I yeah. cry with Lil Mo, which is 16. Oh yeah, that was a big uh song. yeah. Shut up, Cam. Uh, you ain't never heard that song. I have Lil Mo, 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 Mo had more hits, but I like <laughs> no, no, I'm not to 50 though, so so seductive. Oh yeah. Best friend with Olivia. Yes. Best friend. I get money. Oh, that was hard. That was his last hit. At 16. Um, Encore, Eminem, Dr. Dre, 50? No. All right. Uh, can't leave him alone with Sierra? Nah, okay. No. So they're, they're, they're that, very, was, that was a big hit. They're tied. They're tied at this point, Megan. Stop it. But see, they're this at the is... The of the window shopper. I didn't even say that. Yeah. Window shopper. Window shopper. Yeah, oh, hu- wait. Hustler's Ambition from his movie. That song was hard. No, I mean, we're talking about hits, though. He definitely has songs. Hustler's like, Ambition was hard, though. Yeah. Oh, did we say Mini Men? Many men, many men, heat, heat with the gun but what, cocking. But, uh, but wait, but many men wasn't a single though. Uh, about, yeah, so y'all just named the songs you like. No, many men oh, was a single. Video. They, they had, had a video for that. Right. Many men yeah. was. But, yeah. but so was it a hot hit? Nineteen though. right there. I don't know if many men was a hot hit. I think no. I, I think we just liked it. I, I get it, it in. in. No. Oh, wow. But this is the thing. This is this That's is. Boy featuring starches. Shut up. This is why. This is. This is where I think I'm gonna probably edge it to 50 because they both have a, a a lot of hits, but I didn't like the way that Ja Rule sounded when he would sing, even though they were really like popular songs. Like I, I didn't like Catchmo. Like, yeah, he just sounded trash, and I felt like 50 sounded less trash when he would sing. <laughs> Here's my thing. Here's my thing. 50 talked about Ja Rule singing all over the tracks, and then it dismantled his career and did the exact same thing. Yeah, Ja Rule. Even though you know he put on a hard thug demeanor, his music was fun. Like we hadn't had fun music like that in hip hop in a very long time. Yeah. Like he gave you that Bobby Brown, New Jack Swing type of fun. Like mm-hmm. you put your hands up. Fifty made music when you go in the club and you just mean mug, and everybody's rapping hard in each other's face doing this. So like I I enjoyed what Ja Rule brought to music at that point. Right, there. he made the it 50 fun. Fifty stole his blueprint. He stole his blueprint. The whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Uh, I, I gotta give it. I gotta give it to Ja Rule because nah. Fifty was like, "Hey, I'm gonna sing too. Let me take my shirt off in the candy shop video." Nah, but like, man, he trying to be Ja Rule. I mean, I don't think he tried to sing that much. The, the majority of his really big hits, he wasn't doing that singing shit. He be singing, yes, like in the do. in the club. Twenty one questions. He's like, singing he on sing. candy shop. He sang on Twenty One Questions. That was that was Nate Dogg singing on that. That wasn't him singing. That was he, sang, he, he did not sing on 21 Questions. If he sang, yes, he did. No, he did. whole rap verse. What did he sing? Tell me, tell me, he rapped, tell me the point like that he sang. Tell me the point. Questions, will you ask them to? That's Nate Dogg. 
That's Nate Dogg. Fun questions. I'm curious. You he rapped. He never he never sang on that song. He's not, oh, that's well, not I even mean, a part of the song. Wait, 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 wait. Technically, Doughboy, there was that part that was like, I asked 21 questions. That was Nate Dogg. About us. No, that was 50's part. No, it wasn't. 50. That was Nate Dogg. No, would you that love me 50. in the Bentley? Would you love me yeah. on the bus? That was That 50. was Nate Dogg. That was Nate Dogg. I'm was yelling at us, man. All right. It was Nate Dogg. It was Jesus Nate Dogg. Right. He's hanging on a lot of turn your, turn your voice and that sweatshirt down when you talk yeah. to us. Wasn't there a part where 50 broke out into song? Yeah. Yeah, he always oh. sing. Oh. That's what I'm saying. He was. Oh, catch stunts in my 745. Ah. Crazy yeah. shorty. I yeah. need yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Nate Dog. Yeah, yeah, Nate Dog. Yeah, yeah, Nate Dog. Yeah, Nate yeah, Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My own ah. voice. My own voice. My own voice. Yeah. Are you to hear me? Ah. <laughs> Just loud and wrong. Yeah, you know, really but I can take it. Out and wrong, <laughs> man. Fuck, <laughs> fuck eggs. <laughs> I don't fuck with eggs no more. What do eggs? What eggs do? Man, fuck <laughs> eggs. I, am, I am not fucking with eggs Your no more. Sweatshirt sponsored by Egg Yolk. <laughs> yeah, hey, I was gonna say he dressed like, like a big yolk, yolk right now. Like a melted yolk. Stop. Hey guys, I gotta hop off. I gotta go live on all Def Digital. Bye guys. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Yeah. That was fast as hell. <laughs> I'm ty- I- I'm 20 minutes late. My bad, guys. I'm Tyria Lane today. <laughs> <laughs> you really got to leave? Yeah, I do. I-, I was supposed to go live 20 minutes ago. Well, what's your pick? Oh, 50 your right. job. 50 your job. 50 your job. 50 cent. Peace. Okay. Bye, guys. So we, got, we got 50. I'm going for job. <laughs> Tom's going for uh, job. Where you at, Joe? I'm going for 50 cent. 50 cent brought back that rugged... New York sound I was missing for years. And then he, he stole Ja Rule's sound after that. I shut your ass up, he Tony. He did, Thank man. <laughs> he but literally you, did. But, it would have been fine if he didn't make a big deal about it. If he would have just right. did it, I would have been like, okay, like people are singing now. But he was right. like, yeah, that's dumb, right, guys? Yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'll take you to the candy shop. I know. <laughs> like, what? He was like, hey, this thing's trying to work it for Let me try. I want to ask you guys, though, before you make a final decision. At the height of their career, do you think 50 was hotter than Ja Rule was? Yes. yes. 50, was, 50 was the closest thing to a pop star at the time. That's what I think, too. I think Without, I, without switching over, too. He did it for yeah, a while without switching I think over. 50, 50 was like, you couldn't go. Everybody was playing his music everywhere. He was on everything. I don't know if Ja ever peaked nah. that high. Yeah, I feel like ja Rule, ja Rule was Rule. just earlier, so we forgot about that. But you got to remember, Ja Rule had way more crossover appeal than 50 ever had. No, no, I agree with that. But I, I just think it was a there was a time where it was universally like 50's yes. the biggest rapper. I don't know if Ja had a... No, like no, no. The, the audience never really fully believed in Ja Rule to buy his album. It was kind of like how yeah. Rihanna was initially. Like, Rihanna would always like, have uh, hit single, hit single, hit single. But people yeah. was like, I don't know if I want to buy the whole album. Yep. All right, you know. Whereas Beyonce, people just bought the album first. Yep. And people so, for people so, forget how big... People forget how big that 50 album was. I remember the first week it came out, he did like 870,000. Then the next week, he did like 860. Like yeah, that's it, it un- doubled up on the eight. Yeah, and nobody's ever done that. Yeah, it's crazy. And then the second album, he did a mill in the first week. So he was he and, and, like and that like- second album, it was a million in a short week. He, yeah. he came out a few days later than like the release date. So it was like a million in a short week. But then after yeah. that. Do y'all think the hype behind 50 sold the records more? Like, yeah. if you got this, you got this, hold on. You got a rapper who's been shot nine times, one in the face. Drug dealer. Drug dealer, got revenge on the people that shot him. The only, he was the first rapper to sign a million dollar contract. Eminem signed him for a million. It had never been done before. He had the history with being dropped from the first two labels. All of that. He definitely had a great narrative. He had a fantastic story coming out the gate. That, no, that, this, is, this is but my But he theory. also had to deliver on that, though. Like, if, he didn't, if the music didn't deliver, we wouldn't have, nobody would have cared about all that stuff. It was a yeah. perfect storm of controversy and, and, like, good songs attached. So it was like, oh. Yeah. That Get Rich or Die Trying. With him and co-sign? Yeah. That, that Get Rich or Die Trying was, it still, it still bangs today. Like, it holds up. Like, I but still the, love that album. And this is what I was saying. Cause stick or try trying. <laughs> this is the thing, though. Like, his whole voice got altered when he got shot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was a yeah. big part of his thing. But for that moment of time, there was like a 
three years stretch when he was really in that music bag, no, the music he was making was just that much better than everybody else. I think he got away from that as he got richer and he started doing other things, but them first couple albums, 50 could not miss. So it wasn't just the story. It was he had the music to back it up. The Massacre, I'll be, I was skipping a lot in that album. But no, but if you go his last mixtape, the uh, what was it, Guess Who's Back, and then his first album, and then The Massacre, like those three bodies of work were just mm-hmm. really, really, really good. And if you think about the posses that are attached to these guys, so Murder, Inc. and G-Unit, I would much rather listen to G-Unit. Did Absolutely. Did you, you say posses? Yes, yes they're yeah. posses because it's they homeboys that they put on. You think just because you got a cowboy hat on, you're going to start talking in the Western days? I don't know who the Yeah. <laughs> so Mario Van People's ass up. <laughs> 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 What man's is this, yo? <laughs> 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 the low, low key though, I just added that to my watch list on Amazon Prime because possibly oh, right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Memorial Van Peoples and all of them. Anyway, man. back to the question: Would I rather listen to Murder oh. Inc. or G Unit? G Unit, easy. Well, are we going to hits or are we just going the full thing? G Unit. So we just doing hits. Hits. Hit. I mean, I'm just saying, just this is just a question. What would you oh, that's definitely a uh, G unit. Yeah, yeah. Mur- Murder Inc. never put out. They never put out music. They the other artists besides Black, oh. Cadillac Ta and Black. Black, 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 Black. Black. Oh, hey, you, you, you have to throw you have to throw Ashanti in the posse because she was Murder Inc. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Ashanti, so Ashanti Barry, the rest of G unit. It was the rest of G unit. Hold on, you had Ashanti. You had Charlie Baltimore. You had Mi- Mitsubishi yeah, Tide, and then you had Black Child. Mitsubishi Tide, what he That's called what it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That really? No, he did No, his name was Cadillac Tide, but 50 called him Mitsubishi Tide, and then he called Black Child Crack Child. It was hilarious. But Shanti was the only one that made any noise, though. But her sideburns. You'll overlook that. <laughs> she, made, she made some great hits. She's a great. There's singer. an article she written that said it. that Beyonce will never be as big as Ashanti ever in her life. Really? It what? comes what? up all the time. Uh, bro, you got to remember how big Ashanti was. People really didn't believe Beyonce was going to be a great solo artist at all. This was yes. Ashanti's go-to. And her move crazy right in love and was like, nah. No, it wasn't. No, no. The record executives thought that crazy in oh, love was oh, going in. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that's the girl I was saying. Vita was on Murder Inc. So was Lloyd. Oh wait, they wasn't. They wasn't. Oh they, Lloyd, I forgot about Lloyd. Fine two or five two Lloyd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. he was on Lloyd from two thousand four to two thousand nine. I forgot I about Lloyd. Lloyd, Lloyd made Lloyd. Lloyd. Christina Milian was on there. I forgot about her being on there. She didn't drop nothing on there though. Nah. She Vanessa know. Carlton, she was on there. Vanessa Carlton. Yeah, yeah it's time Vanessa Carlton. The G Unit. Yeah. No, no, the murder ain't. Oh, well, that doesn't make much sense either. Is that <laughs> making my way downtown? He, back oh. like it was he was like, oh, oh, wait, he came back. <laughs> What's with Vanessa Carlton? Not, she's not making my way downtown. That's, no. yeah, that's her. That's her? That's not yeah. her. Making my way downtown. That's I her. That's it. Sasha Bedingfield. No, that's Vanessa Carlton. Why did she get signed to murder ink? For what? To make our way down there. That's what murder ink. Is that making much to rob somebody? Murder ink. All right, so we didn't get everybody. We 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 still got to get Kev and Max. I didn't get you mine. Okay. You said fifty cent already. You did. Okay. I was just making sure, man. So it's two for two because Doe and Pat have 50. Me and Tony going with Ja. So it's down to you two. Ja rule! It's murder. Three to two. Where you at, man? She going 50. There we go. We you did this on the last episode too. Just give us the right. shit. I mean, I'm really. You no, know. and no, you can't pick Kirk Franklin instead. <laughs> Fifty Cent is also just a terrible person now. I don't want to vote for him. No, he was always now, he's been there. He was always terrible. Um, if I have to just look at their music, and I have to think about my history and like the Ghetto Twerk Team. 
Yes, Ghetto Twerk Team. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go. Ja Rule. Yes, motherfucker. Yeah. Jeffrey Adkins wins. Yeah. Y'all get a movie called I'm in love with a church girl. I, I like Jarrell's rap voice, the raspiness of it. I like that more than 50 Cent's rap. It ain't even a question. Blah, 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 blah. How my dough goes. I'm rude to these bad hoes. I was all up on it. I was good. Well, there it is, man. Uh, looks like 50 uh, is taking a backseat to Jarrell for the first time in his career. Um, <laughs> Yo, did you hear the time 50 bought all the front row tickets at Josh County? Hey, petty. That me. man is petty. Yo, he, petty. Anybody that beefs with every single person in their life, every single person in their life, he beefs with. I'm like, son, dude, even his I, birth son, Tony. His son. That's just, his I like him as a person. Son. Like him. Dang, bro, but enough. This is a fun Dang. fact, though. This is a fun fact. Fat Joe is trying to set it up right now, and Ja Rule already agreed. To have Ja Rule and Fifty Cent do a battle of the hits, so that might on IG Live. On he IG Live, so that might Fifty's not gonna do it because he doesn't want to give Ja any shine. Even to this day, I guarantee he's not gonna do it. Why does he hate him so much? He tried to kill him. Well, at Wait, least that's the urgent it? legend. That's the urban legend. Urgent? Oh, is that the urgent legend? legend? It's, it's the urban legend. They <laughs> had beef. And Ja Rule tried to kill Fifty Cent. There was a whole situation where Fifty Cent got stabbed in the studio, and people said that. That was in the ja Rule, the moment, man. Anybody but, that, get but they said Ja Rule and his crew were behind the attack, allegedly. <laughs> when you fight, anybody could get stabbed. Anybody in the get stabbed. I didn't really want to kill you. It was the heat of the moment. <laughs> that was the heat of the <laughs> moment stab. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that, that's you'll be that's over it by the time you get to the field. That was awkward as hell. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm trying not I to talk over people. Knows. It's so hard on Zoom. You never know if somebody's top talking or not. They right. top talking? Did they I was just saying that in the heat of the moment is a criminal defense. If you go out and plan to stab somebody, that's worse than we right. fight and then I just stab you because we was fighting. That's the big difference in the court of law. In the heat of the moment, if you get hit so hard that you have to stab somebody to retaliate, that should be understood. Well, in the heat of the <laughs> night, Sidney Poitier is going to be there. <laughs> Not in the heat. When when Brick hit that guy with a trident and anchor man, that was in the heat of the moment. Brick oh. killed the guy. <laughs> killed him, he man. Probably, he probably better lay low for a while because I think he was wanted for murder for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's been another episode of Squadcast versus man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. Shout out to the squad for tuning in as well. I uh, hope you guys had a great week going forward, and we will see you next week. Continue to shoot those uh, messages on the inbox with your suggestions. We take a look at all of them. We decide accordingly. Thank y'all. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I was excited about it.